we're going to go ahead and create a new app now. And Power Apps will actually generate you a simple app from a SharePoint list. So, you just connect to your SharePoint list, choose, and it generates an app for you. Now we have a simple three screen app with a browse screen, detail screen, and edit screen. We have a header with a rectangle, a label, a refresh icon, sort, create new item, text box for searching, and just a little search icon, a little rectangle as a separator and then a browse gallery with a gallery you set the first row and that's repeated for every item in your gallery so I'm gonna go ahead and change this second item from ID to total so now we have the title total and date if you select the arrow, it takes you to the detail screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt and select the arrow to go to the detail screen now. It also has a header with a rectangle, a back arrow that takes you back to the first screen, an edit form that takes you to the edit screen, and a delete which will remove this from the list with a label. And then a detail form, which has forms have data cards. This has four data cards, and each data card has two labels. This is for the title, and then this particular title is dinner. And that has that again for the date, total, and the type. Let's go ahead and select edit. Okay, now we're on the edit screen. Again, has the same header with the rectangle, it's times a cancel icon, which will reset the form and take you back. The submit form button. And then the label. And then a form, this time, this form has five data cards with an attachment, which we don't need. Let's go ahead and just delete that. With this title data card, it has a star showing that it's required. An error message will pop up if you try to submit a record without anything in that title field, a text input, and a label. And then this is a date picker and a drop down control. Otherwise, it's all the same. But let's go ahead and get that error to show up. Okay, just like that. And we'll just hit cancel. It takes us back. It takes us back to the navigate screen. When you're on the navigate screen, you come here in the search. Start typing. And also we have the sort the list in alphabetical order. And that's pretty much all there is to this simple app. But you can dive into it and you can start seeing how this is put together. That'll help you begin to understand how to create your own power apps. So now that we've looked over this simple app that was generated for us, we can go ahead and create a blank app and recreate this using the form control. And we can reference back to this app if we have any questions of how this was actually created. It's a little easier to have something you can reference rather than just looking through documentation 